The Medicare Advantage and Prescription Drug Plan annual election period is currently underway. Navigating the many options available can be confusing for veterans 65 or older who are eligible for Medicare. Here to explain are Darren Davis, Humana Veterans Channel Executive, and Mary Fourier, USAA's Assistant Vice President for Health Insurance. So Darren, I understand this year's Medicare uh, annual enrollment period is now underway, and Medicare can be pretty confusing, so can you tell us a little bit about what Medicare is and who's even eligible for it? Sure thing. Yeah, we, we have until December 7th. Uh, so our annual election period runs between October 15th and December 7th every year. And, uh, you know, Medicare is a government managed uh, health care program for folks that are uh, 65 and over or, or maybe on uh, disability. Uh, and there's a couple of different options uh, out there. So they can go with original Medicare um, or even within within the Medicare space. You have private companies uh, like Humana that offer Medicare Advantage plans. Uh, these plans are going to offer additional benefits. Uh, they, they may uh, help them cover some gaps that are out there as well. Uh, so lots of different options. We, we just encourage folks to, to go check out Medicare.gov or reach out to a licensed agent and see what's available to them in their area. Well, Darren, you work closely with veterans to help them understand their health care benefits. If someone already receives VA benefits, should they still consider Medicare coverage? Yeah, that's a that's a great question. And in, in fact, Department of Veterans Affairs uh, actually recommends that they do both, uh, that they they obviously get their VA benefits, but uh, that they also enroll into Medicare if they're eligible as well. Uh, so there's a couple of reasons uh, that they, they may want to do that. Number one, if, if that veteran wants to be able to see a provider outside of the VA system, uh, if they want to go outside of, of the VA and, and, and see another specialist or doctor, uh, or if there are ever uh, funding changes in the future with, with the VA, it may not be a bad idea uh, to have uh, to have a, a backup plan there um, in, in that instance. So um, those, those veterans are going to be able to look at different plans uh, kind of across the landscape. They're going to have uh, different options as far as premiums, co-pays, deductibles, maximum out-of-pockets, um, lot, lots of different uh, uh, variables. Um, I'd say with original Medicare, you, you typically have... Uh, you know, they, they can go to any any provider that accepts Medicare. There's really no network uh, as far as that's concerned, but they don't really have a max out of pocket. Um, so uh, Medicare is only going to pay around 80 percent, um, whereas on the Medicare Advantage side with with private companies, um, typically it's going to be a little different where um, they will have some max out of pocket, but then they'll have some some provider networks they need to stick to. So um, lots of lots of different moving parts, uh, lots of different choices for those veterans. So, again, uh, recommend that they go to a licensed agent and uh, and see what's available to them. Very good. Very good advice. All right, Mary, I understand that USAA and Humana have worked together for a few years. Can you share what brought these two organizations together and why this partnership makes sense? Sure, yes. USA and Humana have actually been partnering since the early 2000s. And really, it's a shared commitment to our military community that has brought us together. Uh, and really, that the, the healthcare expertise of Humana that Darren was just talking about, and then, of course, the veteran expertise from USAA. And we're especially excited this year because all of Humana's veteran-focused Medicare Advantage plans are now going to be co-branded as Humana USA Honor Plans, and really they'll be available to more beneficiaries and more locations. And these plans were all designed with the very unique needs of veterans in mind, um, kind of like Darren was talking about. But of course, they're, they're available to everyone who's eligible for Medicare, and that also includes veteran spouses. Very much, Mary. So Darren, where can viewers go to learn a little bit more information? Yeah, I think uh, Medicare.gov is is a really good place to start, where they can look at all the different options that are out there. And then if if somebody wants to check out uh, Humana's plans specifically, they can go to Humana.com for that. Excellent. Thank you both very much for your time this morning. And guys, you know you can head to our website if you want to catch this segment again.